Hi, Dr. Q here from Star Nursery. Now that the high temperatures are keeping us indoors more often, it's a great time to pay more attention to our house plants. Check for problems such as discoloration, insects, or just dust accumulation. It's important to keep leaves clean so the plants can photosynthesize properly. By keeping the leaves clean, you can discourage these tiny pests from setting up large colonies on your plants. It's a good time to take each plant and put it in a sink or tub to wash off the leaves, give it a good drenching, and fertilize it. Prune off any branches or leaves if needed, and check to see if it needs transplanting. If you have plants that are easy to start from cuttings, like pothos, ivies, or spider plants, save the cuttings that you take off. Put them in a glass of water to see if you can get them to root. When they have some nice roots, add them to your houseplant collection. The best way to see if your plant needs transplanting is to put two fingers against the inside of the pot and press them down into the soil as far as you can. If you can get them down the full length of the two fingers without any obstruction from the roots, the plant should be good for a while longer in the pot. But if you have a hard time getting them through because of root obstructions, it's probably time to put it in a larger pot. Try not to use a pot that is more than 50% bigger than the pot your plant was in. Make sure it has good drainage and use a good quality potting soil like Dr. Q's Filthy Rich Gold for the best results. If you notice any insects on any of your house plants, it would be a good idea to treat them all with a product like Bonide's Systemic indoor houseplant insecticide. One of the most common insect problems is fungus gnats. These tiny flying gnats can breed in the damp soil of most any plant and become a nuisance all over your home. To keep these pests in check, try not to keep your plants too wet. And if needed, use an indoor plant fungicide on the soil. You might try a light solution of vinegar and water to drench the soil. Use only salt-free water. Salt-softened water is very harmful to plants. Reverse osmosis or distilled water are best used when a micronutrient-rich tonic like Dr. Q's plant tonic is added. For more information on this topic, visit us at starnursery.com or on our free app. And don't forget, although we will be temporarily suspending our house call service, Joey Lynn and I will be available to help you via phone and email. Email us at housecalls at starnursery.com or call 702-771-7827. Leave a message and one of us will call you back. I'm Dr. Q. And I'm his assistant, Joey Lynn. Be safe out there and we'll see you again next week.